I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will discuss polynomial equations and inequalities application. You must have seen many questions relating to volume of open top box. Here is an example to understand the same. Let us say we have a piece of uh, let's say paper where we are folding the edges as shown here along these lines and uh, let us assume that each corner is made is a square type of corner whose uh, dimensions are x let the length of this piece be 50 width be 30 okay we can have centimeters as the units okay so let's say the units are centimeters now if you fold along these lines you will get um, open top rectangular box right so it could be kind of like this right so that is the base of the box and this fold of x this is kind of the fold right so you, you get an open top uh, box kind of like this now the dimensions of this box will be since x and x have been removed from both the sides so the base here will be 50 minus 2x width will be 30 minus 2x right x and x removed right x and x removed from both the sides and the height will be x units so that becomes the open top box so i hope this step is clear so how do you get that dimensions right since x is removed from both the sides the length and width decreases by 2x as shown here now what is volume volume is product of length width and height so we can write this volume we'll write as a function of x since x is our variable as x times uh, let's say 30 minus 2x times 50 minus 2x so that becomes an expression for the volume of open top box now the question could be find the volume when x is given to you or the question could be volume is given to you you need to find the ball the x what could be the value of x how much area of the square should be removed to get this kind of a open top box with given volume that could be your question right now few more things we, which we should understand here is that the dimensions cannot be negative right so that leads to few restrictions so here x cannot be less than 0 so we have x should be greater than 0 and uh, if we try this out 30 minus 2x that gives us that x should be less than 15 right so if I write any number more than 15 here I'll get a negative term for this factor so I cannot have any term greater than 15 15 also will make it 0 right so we are looking for x values between 0 to 15 it makes sense if you see the width of this then 15 is kind of center value right so if you have a square it will kind of take away all the material from the width so you cannot go beyond that right so because we're taking x squares from each corner right so that gives you the restriction on the value of x so that is also important to understand okay now let's get back to polynomial equations and inequalities if i write volume as this it becomes an equation now let me create some questions from here one question could be if uh, we remove a area of uh, let us say in this case 100 centimeter square each corner is removed in that case what is the volume so so the question is removed area of square from each corner is 100 centimeter square in that case what is going to be the volume of the square right so i'm not writing everything since i have to end up here i don't have much space here right so when we say that we are removing 
100 centimeter square of area that is to say this area of square is 100 centimeter right all 100 each right so 100 each okay so each square okay in that case what should be x x should be equal to square root of 100 right then the area will be 100 which is 10 centimeter in this case now if i have to find volume when x is 10 i can just plug in 10 here right so i get a volume here that is v of 10 equals to just substitute 10 we've got 30 minus uh, 2 times 10 is 20 times 50 minus 2 times 10 is 20 correct so that is the volume so we'll use the calculator to find the result it is 10 times 30 minus 20 is also 10 times that is 30 okay so we get 3000 we will work with very simple numbers idea is to understand the concept and units of course will be centimeter cube so we have done one type of question which you might see sometimes in textbooks so what we did here is that we have a rectangular piece could be of any material from where corners of 100 centimeter square have been removed and the sides are turned as shown it will form an open top box find the volume of that box here it is it is 3000 centimeter cube okay so we got one problem solved and i hope you've understood uh, this question right so let me write here question number one writing a polynomial equation question number two uh, a word problem like this and let me create question number three since we are talking about polynomial equations and inequalities uh, let me write down a question related to inequalities. Uh, the question could be find possible uh, values of x so that the volume v of x is greater than greater than or equal to let's say 3000 centimeters square so let's say that's the second question based on what we are doing so that is inequality so when the sign changes from equal to to greater than equal to or less than greater than then we are talking about inequalities right so so now it becomes a question of inequalities so we again have a question here and which says well our expression is uh, x times 30 minus 2x times 50 minus 2x and this time this volume should be greater than or equals to 3000 okay what we learned is that it is indeed equal to 3000 for x equals to 10 so so that is known to us right before getting into really solving this question uh, let me uh, further give you some insight to this kind of uh, equations or inequalities which helps you to understand the concept right so what i will do here is easily i can actually sketch this polynomial right so let me sketch the polynomial now what we know here is that uh, x value should be between 0 to to 15 right otherwise we saw this will be negative right but anyway, let's sketch and uh, see it from that aspect also. So this is the volume for us. And here, let us say it is x for us. So we get zeros at uh, x equals to 0. And here, this 0 is at x equals to 15. And half of 20, half 50 is 25. So x equals to 25 is also a 0. This is a polynomial with leading coefficient positive cubic polynomial. So, so that means uh, we have three zeros, 0, 15, and 25. So we kind of, and we have to start from 0 to 15. Okay, so what I will do is, I'll first sketch a graph and then highlight the portion which is permitted for us, right? So it is kind of a polynomial which could be like this, okay? Where the values are for zeros, 0, then we have 15 and then we have 25 correct so these are the three zeros and that's the volume as you can clearly see volume cannot be negative right so 0 to 15 is the only permitted 
value for x. So that graph gives you an idea, right? So uh, we should actually sketch just uh, this portion of the graph for the given volume. So in case the question is to sketch and describe, then you know you should not sketch the whole thing since our domain is from 0 to 15. I hope that point is very clear now. Now let's look into the question. It says find possible values of x so that the volume is greater than or equal to 3000. Okay, so we found that for 10, so 10 will be, let's say somewhere here. So for 10, the volume is 3000. So this is 3000. Okay, so the we are looking for actually two values. Since this line where volume is 3000 intersects at two places. Well, if you extend it, it may intersect at the third place also, but that is not in our domain, right? So that gives you a clear idea of what we are trying to find out. Do you get it? I hope you appreciate it, right? Okay, so let's move forward. Now the standard way of doing it is bring all the terms together and expand all this, right? So we have um, x times 30 minus 2x times 50 minus 2x and we are bringing 3000 here minus 3000 is greater than or equal to 0, right? Now expansion, okay, one step, let's multiply this by x. So we get 30x minus 2x square times 50 minus 2x minus 3000 should be greater than or equal to 0. Now let's multiply 1 by 1. So 30x times 50x, 3 times 5 is 15, two zeros and the number and the variable is x. With minus 2x, it becomes minus 60x squared. With minus 2 times 50 is 100 x squared and that gives you plus 4x cubed minus 300, 3000 greater than or equal to 0. Now we can combine few terms and better let's write in proper order highest power of x should be the first term so we have 4 x cube and then minus 160 x square and then we have plus 1500 x minus 3000 uh, should be greater than or equal to 0. Now we already found that uh, for x equals to 10, for x equals to 10, this is indeed 3000, right? So, so we know that uh, x minus 10 is a factor, right? So we know x minus 10 is a factor. Now to find the other factors, we can actually divide by 10, right? So, so I'll do that. So let's divide by 10 and get the equation. Okay, so let me do it here. Uh, so let's divide by 10. So I'll do synthetic division. You can do long division also. Writing the coefficients, we get 4 minus 160. We have 1500 and minus 3000. Okay. This should be divided by 10. Okay. Now, so we'll bring down the first number, which is uh, 4 multiplied by 10, which gives us 40. When you add them, we get minus 120 multiply minus 1200 add them 300 multiply 3000 so as expected you get remainder of 0 that means indeed x minus 10 is the factor correct now what are the other factors the other factors for us are uh, these right so 4x square let me write this as 4x square minus 120x uh, plus 300 right and of course times x minus 10 and that should be uh, greater than equal to zero. So that is what we have as our equation. Now here this one is a quadratic equation. You can always factor out four. So, so we could also write this as, uh, I'm just saving space here, four and then we have x square minus, dividing this by four gives us 30, right? x and then plus dividing by four, 4 times 7 is 28, right? 7 and then 20 is 5. So 75 times x minus 10 is greater than or equal to 0. So what I did was I factored out 4, right? Just to get smaller numbers. Now we can use quadratic formula. So we are trying to find other factors 
to find the zeros of this since I need these two values right we already have one which is 10 I need these two values one of course is out of domain right okay so we'll use the quadratic formula x is equals to minus of b which is 30 plus minus square of uh, 30 which is b uh, minus 4ac 4 times a is 1 c is 40 75 so so let me write 1 times 75 since i already wrote divided by 2 times a so 2 times a is just 2 here so let me use the square root in a different thing okay so that's what we have and let's calculate its value so we have uh, 30 square is 900 okay minus uh, 4 times 75 and that gives us 600 right let's do square root of 600 okay so so what we get is square root of uh, the answer which is 600 10 square root 6 let's write it in decimals okay so we could write this approximately as 30 plus minus 24.5 let me write this as 24.5 divided by 2 correct so that gives us two values so we'll add uh, 24.5 with 30 and then divide by 2 to get one result in decimals that is uh, 27.25 okay 27.25 the other one will take away so we'll do 30 take away 24.5 divided by 2 in decimals it is 2.75 it is 2.75 so this value is 2.75 and that value is 27 uh, 27 points five is it okay and clearly that is out of domain so we get another factor which is 2.75 do you see that so we could write uh, this expression as 4 times x minus 2.75 that is approximate so don't multiply and we have x minus 27.25 and we have x minus 10 and that should be greater than or equal to 0 right so that clearly gives us the the solution right there since uh, this one is not valid right not valid so we'll ignore this but these two are valid solutions correct so this open top box will have volume greater than 3000 if x is between what values let me write down the answer x is greater than uh, 2.75 right 2.75 and is less than 10 since we are saying greater than equal to I should make it like this right so that becomes the answer I hope all these steps are absolutely clear so what do you do in such questions is sketch understand the question and then develop your model to answer Try to understand what we are trying to do in each step. That will help you to solve any question, which is kind of like this, right? Volume of an open top box is probably one of the most common applications of polynomial equations or inequalities. And I hope this video will help many of you, including my students who have been asking for it. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share.